On today's video, I will be giving you a look into how a COVID-19 test is done. I'll also be checking in on a healthcare worker that is in quarantine and see how she's living. All that and more on today's cheap vlog. Hello and welcome to This Is Niagara here on my YouTube channel, Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. My name is Nigel and of course this is my channel. If you've never been here before, uh, usually what I do is travel related uh, vlogs, but with uh, the COVID uh, pandemic breaking out, I kind of stopped short my new feature, which was This Is Niagara, where I went off and toured Niagara region and took you along with me. And we've turned it into a kind of like a COVID update to let you know what's going on around the region. All right, have you ever had a COVID-19 test done before? Do you even know what a COVID-19 test looks like and what it involves? Today, on Nigel's Cheap Vlogs, someone's getting tested for COVID, just as a precaution. The facility we're at today is at St. Catherine's Hospital and you drive in, then you get seen by this guy over here, then they move you over to another place for your screening. Uncomfortable, so if you could just put your uh, head against the headrest and try to remain still for me. Oh, sorry. Oh. Ah. You're all set. Have that was day. horrible. Uh. Thank you. <laughs> All right, as you just saw from that, that was not a pleasant experience. So uh, I'm going to ask you, and I will cover your face up. How bad was it? It was horrible. I'd rather give birth. Wow. And I noticed you slapped his hand away. <laughs> I didn't mean to. It was a reflex. So it was very intrusive, oh, and uh, it took a lot longer it was than like it. I could feel it all the way down into the back of my throat. And it was like a bee sting going all the way down. It was awful. Ah, uh, wow. Well, if that was me, I think I would have freaked out. I, I, I can't do things like that. It's better than me getting blood taken. Right. So uh, there you have it. Um, a COVID test done. And uh, very intrusive. It's uh, it's not pretty. It's pretty painful. Uh, it is quick, though. I think it was like uh, 12 seconds the whole thing takes. Felt like a uh, But it, the, when I was watching, he was really, really digging around in there and then when he pulled the swab out there is blood on it so they must really get it to get there to the back bit and make sure they get the cells they needed so uh, not a pleasant thing and for those that think this is still a hoax and this is a load of rubbish you know what just if you just drove past one of the main hospitals in your area where they're doing the covid test you'll see it's real it's not fake it's not a hoax uh, this stuff is real and it's serious not a pleasant uh, experience, is it? Uh, I can tell you it looked painful and uh, I dread the day that I may have to have one. Hopefully uh, I won't, but if I did, uh, I won't be as relaxed as that person in the video was. Um, yeah, I won't look forward to it. Uh, but anyway, for anyone that has uh, COVID-19 who has been through that, uh, you'll know exactly uh, what it feels like. Apparently, like she said, it, it feels like a, it's like a bee sting. Someone told me it's like a giant bee sting at the back of your head and they really, really go deep. I'm talking like, it's like, I don't know, it's like back here. It's like really, really deep. So you saw how long that was. It was, it was like that, about that much. Um, but I, I did time it and it's, it's about 12 seconds. It takes about, from the second it entered to the moment they pulled it out was about 12 seconds. Long enough for me. Okay, moving on. Uh, lots of great work is being done throughout our communities to help those people in need, uh, which are struggling during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. A healthcare worker, uh, that is actually a subscriber to my channel and works at one of our hospitals here. Uh, got in touch with me to inform me uh, this past week that she uh, was tested positive for COVID-19 just the other week. And unfortunately, she was actually quite poorly. Uh, she had a moderate case of the COVID-19, but I'm happy to tell you she is 
making uh, a huge progress and, and getting better. But anyway, we had a, a great chat online and she uh, informed me about what's uh, happened where she is right now. Uh, she is in isolation and to help with her isolation, uh, a company called Niagara Trailers offered well, I wouldn't say offered, they donated, I believe it's like 35 trailers uh, to frontline staff uh, so they could be at home, closer to home, and be around those, that, well, close as they can to the loved ones. And uh, she took that offer up from uh, Niagara Trailers and had a trailer delivered to her home. So she invited me to drive by and have a look. And that's exactly what I did. So you're in the health profession uh, business. You work at the hospital, Niagara Regional Hospital, or one of the care homes. If you get exposed to COVID-19, what do you do? Where do you go? Where do you go to isolate so you don't infect your family members or whatever? Do you go to the hotel which originally was set up? No, something better came along. Uh, this was featured apparently on CHCH a while back and uh, I actually now know someone who's actually uh, taken part in this. It's basically Niagara Trailers, uh, which is of course based in our region, is uh, donating, I think it's like 35 trailers uh, to healthcare workers uh, that have become infected and need to or want to be closer to their home or be with their family but still have isolation. So these trailers are brought to their home. Uh, so that's what we're going to check out right now. So uh, let's go. All right, so this is pretty cool. You get uh, Niagara trailers uh, based, I believe in Niagara on the lake. I actually drop one of these off so you can actually be with your family and be close to them, even though you're separated. And I think this is really, really cool and a great idea. And it's nice to hear that the people that are using this are really, really enjoying it and actually being close to their family. More so, they get to spend time with their pets. That's what I'll be worried about more than my family is my pets. So this is a great idea. All right, there you have it. Just uh, had a look at the trailer. Uh, I didn't want to be too invasive, so I'm, I'm going to protect the identity of the person that's using it. Uh, but it's really cool. Uh, they dropped it off. She could have had a bigger trailer, uh, but apparently it would be too big for their driveway. So her partner asked, can we have the smaller one? So they went with a smaller one. It's been great. Uh, she gave me a few uh, tips in case, because my wife's part of the health profession as well. Uh, she gave me a few tips, like if you think, or you, you basically always have a couple of weeks supply of groceries on hand just in case you get quarantined because uh, you're gonna need it so tips like that uh, were very welcoming you got to have two positive tests uh, before you get to go back to work so that's interesting so uh, I, oh god if I have a tested positive oh I don't even want to go for a test I hate things being oh no mind you I stuck french fries up my nose before yeah but that doesn't go as far back does it but the salt was irritable that's a different story anyway. Yeah, so uh, that was really interesting to see. It, it's nice, and once again, that was uh, from Niagara Trailers. I'll post a link below, and they've been helping out their, our health workers in the Niagara region, giving them full support. And uh, I'll put some links at the bottom of this website, I'm uh, sorry, bottom of this YouTube page, and uh, you can go and browse at your leisure. And uh, if you feel like you wanna say thank you to them, drop them a line and say thanks for what they're doing to the community. I think it's really, really, really good of them. All right, I can happily report that that person that was in quarantine is actually doing very well right now and is hopefully going to be uh, given the all clear in the coming week uh, to get back on with her life, come out of isolation and even possibly go back to work. So that's something to look forward to. But she has asked me uh, to mention uh, this. Uh, she wanted me to pass on her sincere thank you to Niagara Trailers for the use of the trailer. And also a very big thank you to Ridgeway Lions here in our uh, region here, uh, Ridgeway and Crystal Beach. Over the past few weeks, Ridgeway Lions have made up thousands and thousands of meals uh, for people in need uh, that need help in our area. Uh, people like the person who's in quarantine right now in self-isolation. And they were given the all clear back in early April by the public health to set up the kitchens and prepare all the food at the, uh, is it the local? Let me just get this right. 
ba -ba -ba -ba, at the Crystal Ridge Community Center. They've used the kitchens there, they've prepared all the meals uh, where they've been delivering them, are also having a pickup service done uh, to make sure people are being fed during these uh, very, very trying times in our region. So a big, big thank you uh, to those people at Ridgeway Lions. I will put links below to everything that you've seen in these videos today. And if you need help from Ridgeway Lions or places like that, I'll leave the link to their Facebook page. There is a contact number in there. Uh, maybe if you're in another part of Niagara, they can, act, they can probably guide you uh, to assistance in a different area. So I'll leave all those links down below. All right, that's another vlog done for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it very insightful. And if you've liked it, please make sure you like and subscribe. And please feel free to share with other people uh, that you may know. Uh, also, a big hello to those people who do not live in our area that have been watching this. I have been uh, receiving a few messages from those not just in Canada, but for also from around the world. It's great that we do have uh, uh, viewers from all over the place checking in on the Niagara region. And I uh, thank you very much for your support. So please make sure you like, subscribe, and please feel free to share. Uh, before we go today, I'm going to leave you with a couple of funnies to lighten the mood up. So uh, until next time, take it easy, stay safe, and uh, keep washing those hands. Thank you. If it is necessary for you to leave your home, it is imperative you wear your issued social distancing helmet. This will provide you with sufficient daily exercise whilst warding off harmful humans. Wear it at all times. I think it's premature that we open our beaches. Uh, I'm a huge proponent of public beaches and I've been fighting for that for years, but I think that uh, the, the danger of bringing all the people here to our area and spreading the virus, and I think it's gonna prolong the recovery we have, and I think... It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs>